It's the middle of summer, and in Wood County, that means it's fair time. The West Virginia Interstate Fair and Exposition this afternoon is the beginning of its five-day run near Mineral Wells. And that's where we find our Todd Boucher, who is live at the 4-H campgrounds with a look ahead to this year's events. Todd. Where I actually am right now, Phyllis, is in the shade in front of one of the uh, exhibition halls here. Uh, but uh, things are act uh, picking up here, a lot of activity. The midway rides have started, and there will be uh, entertainment starting probably in about an hour from now. This today is also Senior Citizens Day for the first day at the fair. Tonight, a demolition derby is on the schedule, as is ATV drag racing, those in the track areas. Musical entertainment at the main stage has Tom Roddy, followed by Ryan Kane and the Abels. Now, the big issue for the fair this year might again be the weather. Kirk kind of mentioned that a moment ago, especially tomorrow with rain in the forecast. And the fair officials have told me even the threat of rain has had an effect on attendance in recent, uh, recent years. Now, events later on in the week include livestock exhibitions and the junior livestock sale Saturday afternoon, as well as the mud bogs and tractor pull on Saturday night when the fair wraps up for the year. Now, you can find the complete schedule of this year's fair activities by going to the hot button at WTAP.com. And a word to the wise, if you are at the fair this week with the temperatures expected to soar, it's a good idea, as I'm doing right now, I guess, to take frequent breaks and drink plenty of water. Now, live at the Interstate Fair, I'm Todd Boucher, and this is home. Smart to stay in the shade. Thank you, Todd.